All right. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. This is Blood Queen Tara, and I am here to do a reading for the collective. Um, this is our signs. Um, this is a, like a, speci a specified reading per request. Um, so this is what's coming towards you. Um, I'm doing a reading by element, so earth, air, water, fire. Um, I'm going to try to timestamp it. To see what, what you guys can expect to be coming towards you guys. Um, I, I'm going to gear it towards the next 30 days. So it's going to be uh, the next 30 days. I'm not going past 30 days. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so I'm going to start with um, air signs. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Since, it, you know, it was the air sign that uh, suggested for me to do this reading. So, I'm going to start with air signs. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Alright. So, let me start with air signs. To see what's coming towards you guys. <laughs> within the next, between now and within the next 30 days. All right, so, Spirit, give me a message for air signs. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right, so we had a black cat. Lost magic, atonement, rebalance. All right, so the numbers 30 could be significant, or the number three. Then we have, I am not a victim. So, air signs, you are not a victim. So, so, I ain't going on with lost magic, atonement. So, you can expect some type of atonement, some type of rebalance. I also see in the cards, air signs, somebody was trying to scare you, but this person going to end up becoming afraid. So, you're going to be rebalanced, um, karma, the scales being balanced. Somebody could have been trying to scare you or something that used to scare you or something you was afraid of or a secret fear or your worst fear. Um, it's like it's not going to become a fear or you're going to find peace about something so y'all can expect some type of atonement and or rebalance some type of karmic justice I heard atonement again and you are not a victim I heard don't be a don't be afraid of something or someone. Don't be afraid. So I don't know if somebody uh threatening y'all or something. Or you feel threatened. I heard don't be afraid because you're not a victim. Spirit is not gonna allow this person to victimize you. <clears throat> I also see you could leave something in the past. So y'all um Y'all can expect to conquer something and you can leave it in the past. Like you're overcoming this, this scarecrow energy It's behind you is in the past or you have, um, I heard you marked your territory, um, and things like that. Like you overcame something, you, you conquered something. It's like in your territory now or something like that. Or the ball is in your court of some sort because you're not a victim. And I also heard spirit is not going to let this person, place, or thing victimize you. And yeah, and that's number three. Yep. This person might end up in this Alice in the Sea of Tears energy, air sign. This person that was trying to scare you or victimize you. So, yeah, rebalance. Something's being rebalanced. All right. Spirit, what can um air signs expect? What's coming towards air sign? A no. Yeah. So, air signs, expect, to, expect a no. Or you're going to tell somebody no. If y'all was intimidated to tell somebody no, air signs, you're going to do it before you realize it. So that's what you can expect to come to be coming towards you. Somebody or something that deserves a no. Or this person is a no and you should tell them no. 
or this this person, place, or thing is a no. Or somebody's going to tell you no. But it's for your protection. So y'all can expect a no. Because you're not a victim. No, you're not a victim. Yeah. What's coming to us? Air signs. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Worry. Yeah. Yeah. So you, what you can expect to come towards you is um, a person, place, or a thing, or a situation that might cause you worry. So you might have to reject this worry or don't worry about something. Or air signs. This is your hater, enemy, or foe, or a karmic that might come to you and this person worry. So somebody was trying to cause you worry or they caused you worry in the past. Air signs, somebody was coming towards you is um, karmic justice. Like somebody that caused you worry, they're, they're going to they're gonna be worried. So it's like you're going to see like karma play out. You're going to see karma play out. So what's coming towards you is worry. Somebody's trying to cause you worry. And don't worry about this person trying to cause you worry. Or this person is getting karma. And because they're getting karma, they're worried. <clears throat> yeah. So I heard why you while while this person worry, you rebalance. Because this person is going to be worried. Bring a state of perfect harmony into your world and do so without judgment. I heard um, air signs, you don't have to cause judgment on this person because they're already under judgment. So a simple no would do. Like just telling somebody no. This this person is also worried that you're um, rebalanced. Somebody is also worried that, um, I heard you're a Libra. So air signs, especially if you're a Libra, you could be dealing with someone who's very aware of like astrology and like the occult. And I heard somebody's worried because you're a Libra. So y'all could be dealing with somebody who's very knowledgeable and have certain uh, knowledge about like the zodiac signs and astrology and things like that. All right, what's coming towards air signs? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, believe strange encounters. So y'all can expect some type of strange encounters. Um, yeah. But um, air signs, I'm picking up. You're going to become a believer again. You're going to believe something again. Or get like some type of new hope. Um, because of some type of strange encounter. So something is like a blessing in disguise, or you're going to witness yourself receiving karmic justice, getting some type of karmic justice, being rebalanced, um, a hater, enemy, or foe, um, getting their karma. So strange encounters. So expect some type of strange encounters coming towards you. That's coming towards you. Strange encounters. Okay. Okay. Oh, what I'm going to do next. Okay. Okay. Yeah, death. So, um, this could be telling me a Scorpio could be coming towards you. Some type of death could be coming towards you. Air sign. New beginnings. The end of a cycle. Change or rebirth. Ending. Let go. So y'all can expect some type of transformation in or a Scorpio to be coming towards you. That's what's coming towards you. A new beginning. The end of a cycle. I heard that for some of you guys, I heard the end of a karmic cycle. Some Something is changing for the better. Some type of rebirth. A ending. Endings. Also, I heard, I also heard endings of strange encounters. Endings of strange encounters. And letting go. So, um, air signs, if a karmic or something was holding on to you, they're going to let go. 
they're gonna let go. So uh, I'm going to pull it too. Um, this is places or things that you can expect to be coming towards you. Places or things that you can expect to come towards you. Or become like an opportunity. Amusement park. So y'all might get invited to like an amusement park or something. Thrilling rides, carnival fun, festive atmosphere. So y'all can expect that. Something going on with an amusement park. A zoo. Wildlife conservation, zoo attractions, wildlife rehabilitation. All right, so let's see. Let's do love and romance. What can um air signs expect in love and romance? Okay. What can air signs expect in love and romance? What's coming towards air signs? A spiritual lesson. So this could be a karmic. This could be your ex. I heard you guys can accept it or reject it, especially if this is an ex. Y'all can accept this or reject it. Um, this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Or this could be like a new potential lover. But this person more than likely is a karmic. I heard you can accept it or reject it. Yeah. So yeah, concerning love and romance between now and the next 30 days, Air signs, you can expect a karmic to come towards you. This could be an ex, a new potential lover, or crush, but this person is a karmic. Yeah, this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. All right. Give me some love messages. What can air signs expect in love and romance? I'm going to pull three. So a lover, you can expect the lover to say that they can lose themselves in you. Or this is how this lover feel. Or this is what this lover going to say. Can we just talk it over? So a lover might say, can we just talk it over? Um, you can expect the lover to say or feel they see you when they close their eyes. So that's what you can expect in the next 30 days. Air signs, I'm also, I heard um, concerning love and romance. It's like I picked up got you. Like that type of energy. So air signs, it could have, you could have been bat battling or struggling with a lover. And air signs, this lover could have been playing with you. It's like air signs, you know this lover care about you, but they would never admit it. So air signs, what I just heard was, um, this lover might not say this to you, but this is how they feel. And air signs, I don't know what's going to happen, but you're going to catch a lover in a like, like a lie. But it's kind of like an intuitive lie they tell. It's like an intuitive lie they tell. And then it's like air signs when you catch your lover, you it's like you're going to get relieved or cut from this karmic cycle because you're going to catch your lover in a lie. And you know how people say the, the truth will set you free. It's like you're going to be set free because a lover could have been playing with you or something or lying to you. Yeah. I heard it when this card came out. I heard that. Um... So air signs, this lover might not say this to you, but this is what go on with this lover. They see you when they close their eyes. So 
So air signs, I don't know if this lover is secretly in love with you. Or they, it's like they love you, but they jealous of you at the same time. Or it's like air signs, a lover could have did you wrong and you haunt them, but they don't want you to know they're haunted. Or it's like a lover could be scared of you, air signs, and they don't want you to know they're scared of you, but they see you when they close their eyes. So I'm hearing that Beyonce song, A Beautiful Nightmare. So, air signs, you're like a beautiful nightmare to a lover. And possibly this lover is a karmic. But I heard, I picked up that energy. It's like air signs, you're going to say, got you. Like, I caught you. I, I know you lying or something like that. It's like air signs, once you, once you know what you know or you get the truth, this lover can't lie to you no more about whatever they was lying to you about in the past or something like that. Or something like that. <clears throat> um all right let me pull your message give me a message for air signs between now and the next 30 days what can air signs expect to be coming towards them okay so forgive yourself came out sideways so air signs you don't really have to forgive yourself about something or um, the guys just want you to know that you might struggle with forgiving yourself. Um, or you don't really have to forgive yourself because somebody was lying to you. So air signs, um, somebody wanted to blame you for something that wasn't really your fault at all. Or it was not 100% your fault. So you don't really have to take full responsibility for something or... Some of y'all might struggle with forgiving yourself. So the guys want you to know that. Um, but here, signs, I'm kind of picking up whoever this other person you're dealing with or you're going to encounter or be dealing with or this situation. You and somebody else is kind of like even. I'm kind of picking that up. So it's like air signs. You gonna get the truth about something and you gonna find out you don't really have to forgive yourself because something wasn't your fault at all or you was not 100% at fault. And then it's like when you get the truth or you realize something, it's like this person gonna be caught air signs. And it's like, it's up to them whether they wanna ask for guidance. So, air signs, it's like a situation you're going to shrug your shoulders and the other person going to shrug their shoulders. Like, something like that. But I'm picking up the embarrassment is more or less on this other person's end. Like, the shame or the embarrassment. Or you might realize how much of a karmic somebody is. Because they should be ashamed, but they're not. Because I saw a lot of this, like... It's like you and this other person, like, shrugging your shoulders. Like, okay. Okay. Like something like that. So. Yeah. It's like this person don't have to ask for guidance. They don't have to. Air signs. Just like you don't really have to forgive yourself. You don't have to. Because you really didn't do nothing wrong. Or something like that. Yeah. Death is an illusion. Yeah. Yeah. So, air signs, somebody in your energy need to know that death is an illusion. So, air signs, somebody could have took your free will from you. Um, Somebody could have been lying to you and you're going to get the truth. And air signs, you're going to be set free. Somebody caused you a death. But you're going to get the truth and be set free. Um... And this person need to know that death is an illusion. Air signs, for some of y'all, I heard you know something and you not going to say nothing. You not going to say nothing. So, air signs, somebody think that because of your silence, you don't know something. But your silence is an illusion. So, somebody think you dead to something or you're unaware of something. 
So, air signs, for some of you guys, you going to catch somebody, but for some of y'all, y'all might not even say nothing, or you going to act like you don't know, or something like that. Mm, yeah, so death is an illusion. And this is for somebody in your energy air sign. Air signs. I'm also picking up. Air signs. You can expect. Um, for some of you guys. You can expect someone in your energy. To try to do reverse psychology on you. I see that too. So air signs. Um, Say like you're dealing with somebody that's sick. But this person was so busy. This person was so hell bent. Trying to get, convince you you're sick. They're actually the one that's sick. Or this is like somebody going to the hospital and just showing up at the hospital and the doctor say, well, what, what bring you in? What's wrong with you? And it's like this person say, well, you the doctor, you should know. And air signs, you the doctor and you saying, well, I know I'm a doctor, but how can I help you if you don't tell me your symptoms? And this person just sitting there like, well, then that goes to show how much of a doctor you are. And air signs, you like, well, you not hurting me. You hurting yourself. So, yeah. Um, air signs, you could be dealing with someone who has like a, a, a big ego or very prideful. But it's for their, it's it's to their downfall. Y'all dealing with somebody, somebody with a big ego or this person is very prideful. So air signs, you can be like a doctor of some sort. Or it's like this person needs you more than you need them. And then this person is coming to you doing reverse psychology. And air signs, you saying, okay, well, since you want to do a power struggle with me, since you want to do reverse psychology on me, since you want to lie and play games with me, it's like air signs, what this person needs to know is death is an illusion. So air signs, if this person experienced some type of death in their life, they need to know that it's retrievable, but only if, like, they humble themselves or do right by you. So, somebody might cause, like, their own death. Yeah, but it could be death to, like, their... It don't have to be, like, a physical death. It could be death to something because they don't want to humble themselves or be honest with you. So, it's like... Air signs, it's like you telling this person, well, help yourself then because I can't help you because you keep lying to me. So because this person don't want to be honest with you or it's like they hell bent on doing reverse psychology on you, air signs, they're going to experience the death. Air signs, if this person caused you a death in some shape, form, or fashion, it's definitely an illusion because you're dealing with a person who's very prideful or egotistical or something. And they don't, they're not honest with you. Or air signs, you're getting a rebirth after this person caused you this death. And I also heard air signs, somebody going to say, what's wrong with you? This person needs to know that them causing you a death was an illusion and you have been reborn or you have recovered or you have figured out the truth or you have been set free from their lie or their illusion. Like something like that. I'm hearing that too. So air signs, somebody could be wondering what's wrong with you. Why did you switch up on them? Why did you change? And it's because you got some type of truth about something. So this person causing you a death by lying to you it was an illusion or you're going to put this person under an illusion and make them think you don't know or something like that. Something like that you doing ear signs. So that's what the guys want you to know. Something you can expect something like that going on with you between now and the next 30 days. All right. So that's what you can expect ear signs. So who I'm doing next? Um, I think I'm going to do earth signs next.